Hello guys, my name is Victoria Pavlov, I'm the Photoshop artist and today I would like to show to you how we can create very beautiful vintage postcard in Adobe Photoshop CC. Yes, I will be using Adobe Photoshop CC, Wacom tablet and 3D objects I downloaded from pixelsquid.com. So guys, let's start. As you can see, I have created my document. You can create your document in any size you want to. And now I will, cl I will click on my first um, 3D object I would like to work with today. Simply click and voila. I will rotate it. Using move tool, I will move it. Also using a free transform tool, I will resize it. I will make it just slightly bigger. And I will rotate it more just like that. I don't need shadows, but I need my 3D object in high res. Just like that. Now I will click on add a new and here I have another 3D object I would like to work with. I will click on it. I will rotate it. Maybe slightly more. I will move it. And definitely I don't need shadows and I need my 3D object in high resolution. Now guys, I will click on my first um, 3D object I work with today. It's a pine tree um, layer. And I will click on add new. And here I have another 3D object I would like to work with. I will rotate it using free transform tool. I will resize it. I will rotate it just like that and click OK. I don't need shadows and I need my 3D object in high res. Now I will click on add new and here I have another 3D object I would like to work with. Simply click on it, rotate it. Using free transform tool I will resize it. I will make it smaller and I will move it. just like that. Definitely I don't need shadows and I need my 3D object in higher resolution. Now guys, I will highlight my top layer. I will click on um, line tool. I will fill my line with um, middle brown color. I don't need stroke. And I will create simple vertical line. Just like that. And now I will create a um, few more lines, but I will create a horizontal lines. One, two, three, just like that, and four. Perfect. I will switch to um, horizontal type tool and I will type 2. I will change color. Let's see what color I would like to use. Maybe something like this dark um, brown color and I will change type for my font something like handwriting and I need to make my uh, type font bigger. I will move it. Perfect. I love it. Now guys, using same um, font I will type and write Happy New Year. Using free transform tool I will rotate it and I will move it. Perfect. Now guys, what I will do and I will hide all everything except my 3D objects and I will merge visible and I will bring back all my layers. Now guys, I will highlight my top layer. I will switch to rest, um, to restangle tool and I will create a placeholder for my stamp 
just like that. I don't need color, but I need a stroke. I will use same uh, a brown color and I will make my stroke slightly bigger, just like that. Now, guys, I will click on the last object I would like to work with today. 3D object, just like that. I will rotate it. Using free transform tool, I will make it smaller and I will move it inside of my stamp holder. Click OK. I don't need shadows and I need my 3D object in high res. Now, guys, I will switch to um, a custom shape tool. And here I have very nice default shape I would like to work with today. Where is it? It's here. And voila. <laughs> so nice. I'm switching back to my horizontal type tool and I will type postcard. I will make postcard bigger. Just like that. Using move tool, I will bring it down, slightly down. Now I will switch back to my custom shape tool and I have another default shape I would like to work with today. Just like that. I love, love, love it. So guys, now I will start to work on my a lot of few last steps. I will click on my background layer. I will add a new empty layer. I will use um, color which I think very close to uh, original uh, vintage postcard color, just like that. And I will bring down opacity of this layer, just like that. Now, guys, I will select my um, layer with all my 3D objects and let's see, maybe I will switch a blending mode to multiply, not color born. Let's see. Yes, I changed to a darker color and I will bring down opacity of this layer just slightly, guys, not too much, about 91 just very 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 nice and now i will do i will apply the last step i will merge all visible layers i will create a new empty layer my uh, foreground layer uh, same i use for my uh, postcard um, background layer i will switch to um, a gradient tool Gradient tool from I set up for to um, from a foreground to transparent and radial, and I will paint over my empty layer just like that. Don't be scared; we will fix it. Perfect, right? Now I will switch a blending mode for my layer, maybe to multiply, yes, and I will bring down opacity of this layer, just like that. Now I will merge all visible layers and voila guys, we are done. We have created very beautiful vintage um, postcard. We used Adobe Photoshop CC, Wacom tablet and 3D objects I downloaded from pixelsquid.com. So guys, thank you very much. Happy New Year and I will see you later. Bye.